fine, this is a big mistake. And I'll tell you why. You never give the prize before the movie screens. <laughs> because now, look at the situation we're in. You guys are all looking at me being like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Why'd they give him this? You have no idea what the movie is. And this is like when a stand-up comedian goes on stage and the person who introduces him says, and now for the funniest person in the world. <laughs> so, um, I'll have to bring the film down a peg. There is no science in this movie, yeah. <laughs> at all. I didn't really know much about Blackberry, and to this day I have no idea how they work. I don't know what the scientific innovation that they created was. I don't really understand how push email works at all. Yeah, you may not even know what that term is. So I'm, I'm just a, this much of a step above you, and I made the movie. I got... Uh, as far as grade 10 science, oh, guys, 10th grade for you guys, I'm from Canada, um, which is another strike against my scientific bona fides, right? Um, but for the rest of my life, I will be showing this to people who were not in this audience and being like, ah, oh, yes, I'm a real scientist. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for coming here to see this film. Uh, as it said, I come from Toronto, uh, where the... Yeah. Okay, are you from Toronto? Is that why? Really? Uh, but you live Warriors! Here... <laughs> Warriors? Is that what you said? Are, you, are we in a sports rivalry? Do you live here now in San Francisco? I'm going to tell you guys something. So there's a bubble tea boom in Toronto, but I have never experienced anything like the bubble tea you have in this city. If you're yeah. not drinking it, you are, you're leaving so much money on the table. This is a world-class city for bubble tea. And I know you're laughing. I'm telling you, if you go to a place called the Boba Guys and get the Korean banana milk oat bubble tea, you will not, it's, it's like ambrosia. It's manna from heaven. And it, they, sh they should be selling it for $100 a cup, as far as I'm concerned. In Toronto, there would be a line, like, to the border to get this. And here, the lady made it and handed it to me like it was just swill from a pig's trough. <laughs> so, uh, please appreciate that. Like, and, and you guys, well, you know, because you've, yeah, you've, you've had both. Anyway, I, I can't thank you enough, and thank you so much to the Alfred Peace Loan Foundation. And it, to be sincere for a moment, I will say that Although the lifestyle of a filmmaker uh, or an independent filmmaker seems at least somewhat luxurious, all this bubble tea I'm talking about, but you have no idea how much uh, of our own money we need to put into the films that we make in order to have any type of artistic control. And this is true across the board, at whatever level the filmmakers you know are at. And so prizes like this um, wind up making it possible to kind of live a life as a working artist and uh, and so I can't thank them enough because uh, although it may not seem like much, it makes a huge difference to uh, people who are struggling to make movies because it is, yeah. I mean, that advice to put a robot in your movie was good. I would do it <laughs> because, because just do anything you can to get your films made because it is a hell march that never ends. Um, enjoy the film. <laughs>